hello everyone in this video we will see how to perform edit operations as I told you earlier that the data table gets copied without any constraints so whenever I want to perform edit I need to search a record to search a record in the data table I need some primary key based on which I can search the record so first of all what is that I need to do I need to create a primary key for the data table that I have in my data set so how to create a primary key let us see I will say data set dot tables of tbl underscore emp dot primary key is equals to now if you see that primary key ask for a if you see that primary key ask for data column array that will say primary key is equals to I need an array of data column so I'll be creating an array of data columns here I have a data column class data column array dc equals to new data column array one as I have only one column as primary key and I'll say DC data column of 0 is equals to DS dot tables of TBL underscore EMP dot columns of EID that means I want to make this column as primary key and I will pass or I'll assign this DC to the primary key here it is very simple I have created an array of column which has a single element that is nothing but the column of the table and I am making this array as primary key for this table save this now if I try to perform click the button I get the record now instead of 1111 if I try to insert say 11 it should stop me from inserting that saying that employee ID is primary key it should throw an exception here Employee ID is constrained to be unique value 11 already present if I comment out this code where I do not have any constraints on employee table now if I execute this it should accept it it has accepted it but to perform edit operation we need to search a record to search a record we need primary key so I'll uncomment this I got the primary key and I'll use triple one. after performing this insert I want it to perform an edit on a data row I'll use same data row class dt row for edit I can use any name I'm using here row for edit it is an object is equals to ds dot tables of tbl underscore emp dot find 
dot rows dot find it is going to search a record based on the primary key I'll say find the 11th record now it has found the 11th record and it is in DT row for edit now I'll say DT row for edit dot begin edit now I'll say DT row for edit and I'm going to update the name is equals to I'll update it to must see if I want I can update any other columns as well but I'll stop it here I want to update only one column that is employee name and I want to update it to Masi. I'll say dt dot row for edit dot and edit that's it I'll save and execute this here is the 11th record here is the record with employee ID 11 and name got updated to Masi. In the same way, we will see how to perform the delete operation. To perform the delete operation, it is very simple. I need to say ds dot tables of tbl underscore emp dot rows dot find of this time I want to find the row say 7 and I'll say dot delete save this and execute it should not see the record 7 anymore if I want I can also delete record 9 copy this and I'll say I want to delete even record 9 save this and execute it there is no 7 and no 9 record now do remember that all these changes are not at all going to reflect into the database because we have been working on disconnected architecture see that again I am highlighting that point I have created the connection filled the data table and closed the connection now um, I started performing the operation insert update and delete operation till now I am no way connected to the database now what I want, I want all these changes to get reflected to the database. So what I do, again I use data adapter to make all these changes back to the database. So before I go for data adapter, what I need, I need all these queries. I need update query, I need delete query, I need insert query to perform all these operations. So I have a class called as SQL command builder cmd build it is going to automatically build all the commands for this table now to this sql command builder i'll pass the data adapter object because it is the job of data adapter to update the things back to the database so the job of data adapter is to connect to the database get the data into the data table or the data table that we have in data set and after performing all the operations again the data adapter will come into the action and take all these updates and update it back to the database so here I'll say da dot update ds It is going to update the data set back to the 
data table that I have in the database. So let's show table data. You should not see any record. You find 7, you find 9 that did not get deleted. You find 11 whose name did not get updated yet. You do not find any record with Mandur the trainer. Now you will see all these things once the changes gets reflected to the database. Execute this. Click the button. Now let's go to this. Execute it. You should see all the changes. There is no 7 and 9 record. 11 name got updated. And the record Manzur the trainer also got inserted. So this is how we can use disconnected architecture. If you observe as long as I performed all these operations I was no way connected to the database. So what I do I initially establish the connection, connection gets the data close the connection and I start performing all the operations. Once all the operations are done I finally establish the connection update the data and closes the connection. So this is all about your disconnected architecture. So your data set works on disconnected architecture. And in this we have seen data column class, data row class. Data set class is a class which contains n number of which can contain n number of data tables. Even XML files can also be loaded into your data set but if you see that this data set does not contains the constraints on the tables that we load that means it does not get the primary key automatically and it does not get the foreign key automatically we need to make all those constraints explicitly so i call this kind of data sets as untyped data set so there are two kinds of data set one is untyped data set. So this is nothing but your untyped data set. Now in our next video we will see typed data sets and we will see the advantage of using typed data set. So there are two kinds of data sets. One is untyped data set and another is typed data set. So untyped data set is a data set which does not have any database constraints on the tables which are in the data set. So till now we have seen untyped data set. In our next video we will see typed data sets. Thank you very much.